Can you explain your grind process for college students who are Whoa. out here trying to figure out, you know, what am I going to do next? I have all this creative stuff like me. I know I want to be this, you know, phenomenal person in the journalism world. But right now I'm trying to place it all mm -hmm. together. So what advice can you give people from your grind that can help us better our grind? Never hone in on where you are right now. Like, that's not, that's not what's important. Um, you have to have a, a very, very great vision. You got to see, like, everything that I'm doing now, like, this tonight, the, the European tour, everything I'm doing, I, I knew I was going to do seven years ago before this thing was even... So people thought I was crazy, mm -hmm. you know? So... My, my, my goals are so big and they still are. So you have to have a vision so great that when you actually are on the path and you're achieving things, you're not jaded and overly excited that you're getting these things done because you have so much more in store. Um, and you got to like, you can't stop. You know, it's like, this is life. You, get, you, get, you have one life. You got to take it seriously. It's, you know, it's, if this is what you want to do, commit to it. It's, it's unlike anything else. You know, you, you just stick to your guns. Um, don't stop. Don't stop. Don't listen to no's. Don't listen to these, you can't do this. Don't listen to you're crazy. If you do listen to it, let it be the thing that propels you and fills you. And, you know, let that be your motivation more so than anything. And uh, keep people around you who are supportive of your goal, especially when you're at your low moments, uh, whether that's family, whether it's a significant other. Keep somebody in your corner because you'll get to moments where it's desolate, it's dark. And you don't even believe in you anymore. And you have to you have to get past that. And the last question I have, can you explain uh your support system and how they help you get through your day to day? Uh support system, God, wife, family, God, because I mean I'm forever indebted to him. He gave me skills and gifts that I have to do something with. I can't sit on them. So every day that I wake up is a blessing and an opportunity and another reminder that I'm not finished. My wife, is, I mean, where do I even begin? Is <laughs> the, the inspiration behind everything. I, there's, I can't even really put that into words. Family, because they're a reminder of my balance. You know, I go out there and, you know, the world sees me as this and that, and they're, they're just, they just want time. You know, they're just, that's my family. Um, they keep things in perspective. How do you keep things in perspective? And I think my fourth inspiration would be uh, the people who support me. You know, those are people I write for. Even the people that don't support me inspire me. Um, the people who tell me no inspire me. So my support system is, is huge. I think I take negative and, and turn it into a positive. What do you do on your downtime? So when you put the pen and paper down, what's that like? Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Um, mm -hmm. I travel a lot. I enjoy wine. I like, I like beautiful things. And, you know, I like art. You know, I like, um, I enjoy God's beauty. You know, there's so much beauty out here, uh, whether that's architecture, whatever it is. Um,